Imagine a colossal structure stretching 415 meters into the sky, housing 88 floors and covering a massive 4.7 million square feet. This is not a vision of the future, but the reality of the International Finance Center in Hong Kong. Known as a major financial hub, this architectural titan stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. Join us as we journey through time, tracing the construction of this architectural marvel. The story of the International Finance Center begins in the 1980s, with its construction commencing in 1985. This monumental undertaking was not without its fair share of challenges. From the get-go the project faced numerous logistical and engineering hurdles. The planning stage required a meticulous approach, involving architects, engineers and construction experts to ensure every detail was accounted for. The early stages of construction were largely focused on laying a solid foundation. This involved extensive excavation work, and the installation of deep concrete pilings to support the towering structure. The initial costs were substantial, with millions invested in materials, labor, and state-of-the-art construction technology. Despite these early challenges and expenses, the team behind the International Finance Center remained steadfast in their mission to create a world-class financial hub. As the 1980s drew to a close, the foundation of the International Finance Center was firmly in place, ready for the next phase of construction. With the foundation laid, the 1990s saw the construction of the International Finance Center truly take off. This wasn't just about stacking bricks and concrete, it was a symphony of architecture, engineering and human spirit, played out on a grand scale. The building materials were carefully chosen, with a focus on durability, aesthetic appeal, and environmental sustainability. High-grade steel and reinforced concrete formed the skeleton of the structure, while high-performance glass adorned the exterior, giving the tower its distinctive gleaming finish. This colossal project was powered by an army of skilled workers, architects, engineers, and planners. Each day, hundreds of men and women would swarm the site, their collective energy transforming the skyline of Hong Kong, one floor at a time. In the realm of technological advancements, the construction of the International Finance Center was a pioneer. It integrated state-of-the-art construction techniques like computer-aided design and building information modeling. This not only streamlined the construction process but also ensured precision in every detail. Safety was paramount during the construction phase. Every worker was equipped with protective gear, and regular safety drills were conducted to minimize risks. Additionally, meticulous safety inspections were carried out to ensure that the construction adhered to the highest safety standards. The project also took significant strides in environmental sustainability. From the outset, the architects aimed to make the building as green as possible. They used energy-efficient materials and systems, incorporated natural light and ventilation, and even installed water-saving fixtures. The International Finance Center was one of the first buildings in Hong Kong to receive the prestigious LEED Gold Certification for its eco-friendly design. By the turn of the millennium the International Finance Center was nearing completion, a testament to the years of hard work and dedication. This wasn't just a building, it was a symbol of progress, a beacon of innovation, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of human endeavor. In 2003, after nearly two decades of construction, the International Finance Center was finally completed. It was a momentous occasion, marking the end of a journey that had cost a staggering 20 billion Hong Kong dollars. This colossal structure with its 88 floors was no small feat. It stretched up to the sky, reaching an impressive height of 420 meters, making it one of the tallest buildings in the world at the time. But the International Finance Center was more than just its size and cost. It was a beacon of progress, a testament to the city's growing financial prowess. With its completion, it played a crucial role in propelling Hong Kong into the global financial arena, shaping its skyline and establishing it as a powerhouse in the world of finance. Today, the International Finance Center stands as a symbol of Hong Kong's financial prowess, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. From its inception in the 1980s to its completion in 2003, the International Finance Center's construction is a story of vision, dedication, and remarkable engineering. This towering marvel of modern architecture is the culmination of over two decades of hard work, overcoming numerous challenges and incurring substantial costs. The International Finance Center has not only transformed the skyline of Hong Kong, but also made a significant impact on its economy and infrastructure. 
Next time you gaze upon the towering silhouette of the International Finance Center, remember the remarkable journey of its construction, a journey that has left an indelible mark on the skyline of Hong Kong.